here we go 302 GMT folks this is Beano Black and this is a little bit of an idea it's hard to get the earth to tilt on this earthquake thing to be give you an idea of how much we've tilted but we do know that we were showing the face of the top of where the North Pole used to be is down with the idea that if it used to be right up here it's down a ways and the idea that uh, we had a 3.7 in South Dakota last night before I went to bed there you go so that's pretty much where we last time left you and let's go to before we leave we put the earth spinning in the right direction the way we know it goes goes that way the sun comes this way to rotate towards the sun right off the bat we got near Meyer station looking to the south and I'm gonna go back one step there's the sun coming up okay go back one more step there's our little whatever in front of the sun as it's coming up over to the south pole there and I'll go back one there it is a little bit more in front of the sun there it is more in front of the sun there it is more in front of the sun uh, basically it is very believable that, that is can Rigel Cantares B because the idea that as you can see the sun's already up and it's uppermost and the supergiant's back here giving you all that sun glare okay so it's not just that smaller sun that we'll bring across in front of you and as you can see th what we are seeing on the close on fire is right there begins and also as you can see their marker is out there again so it's pretty much marking to see where it's changing every day so that's what they are basically been looking at that marker for okay as you can see that sunspot pretty much is getting a little higher on their mark out there that they've got. That's not a person standing out there, it's a marker they got out there. And then they got their daisy chain, and then there comes the holograph or whatever that's in front of the sun. And you'll also see the teardrop bell that's coming across right there. There's the beginning of it right there. Pretty much gives you a picture of itself. The brown dwarf that's in front of the sun. That's it, pretty much there. It gives itself a picture of it. Now, if we go on, as it's going down, you'll see it come back up. Okay, and then here's the bell that you end up seeing. And it's basically what you'll see in Google and so forth and so on. As it comes across the ice pattern, you get a good picture of it. And it turns into that bell pattern that we see that we get. And then it gets into a diamond shape. One more time, I'll pack it up, and you'll see it coming across the ice, okay? Snowpack. It just comes across. And there it goes. You'll see that tetrahydrin, or whatever you want to call it, going across. Filament. And basically, we know is that being stars shooting across the sky, i.e., in front of the sun, in front of the brown, dwar the brown dwarf in front of probably Rival Cantares B that's in front of the sun and then you get another reflection going the other direction the same thing we've seen earlier there you'll see it come across that makes you know that this is in front of the sun okay because it's not just sun dogs okay that object is projecting that in front of Rival Cantares B on the ground and as you see this stuff come across pretty dramatic stuff and basically go back real fast so you get it to see it that are not playing hocus pocus with you it's there it's in front of the sun and as you'll see it come across here what to us to know our sun but it's probably more likely where I go can't tear be ie look at what time the sun comes up in the east in the Europe okay so this comes up from the South Pole gets in front of the Sun which basically suns back there and then we get it later in the day in the afternoon
and then the sun's up as you can see the sun gives you the big this is the sun coming up okay 630 UTC down there okay they do get 24 hours of sun but as you can see they get more than one sun see so as you know when Rivalcantaris P comes up in the brown dwarf in front of it baby blue planet and that's a guy that comes walking out there to check stakes so forth and so on basically I guess seeing if monitors are on or whatever basically comes across that line that they end up getting that comes across the ice that we've seen in the other video I made earlier this week so they pretty much get 24 hours of sunlight down there this is just cloud cover but you could see earlier where the sun comes up it's like 630 UTC to fullness and the baby blue Kachina, the basically whatever brown dwarf in front of the sun and I think we'll end up coming into another sunrise here this is the next date comes through again and then here comes the sun because there's the sun there's the sun coming up as you can see the sun coming up here we're going backwards right now but you'll see this sun come up over here and then here comes the sun okay so there's your proof more and more positive all the time that we've got way more than one sun folks way more than one sun and this is just cloud cover during the day okay and then basically we go to uh, seeing the tower and you'll see this shaded area come into effect here we'll blow it up to what we get I get it with 400 percent okay it looks like you'll see the shaded area and actually you can see it a little bit better when it's smaller but you'll see the, you see how it's right here and you'll see this come in here but a lot of people are probably going to think that it's I mean we do have cloud cover so it might be also the aspect that we don't really see the shadow that we've seen in the past because you can see the cloud covers opening up here but there is a nice dark shadow going on the back side of the building right there on right on the edge but we don't see our dark spot on the bright part of the day unless the idea that it's doing this right here is we can see the shadow here but it's hard to tell because we do have cloud cover overhead. Now, there is no cloud cover overhead there. So, I mean, it could be interesting that it could be still there. But we do have dramatic footage of showing that in the past. You can go back and look at the videos. And the idea, the only th other thing I could see picking up on this one here would be the same thing that we get there. So, we'll go ahead and play the movie. It basically comes up to 100 hour GMT Zulu time. So, let's take a look at the movie. Let me scoot over all the way. I think there's another set there, but you basically see it as you, i.e., it is coming up, which is basically more than likely Rigel can't terrace be 77% of the sun right there, and then the idea of the brown dwarf in front of it. Baby Luke Conchina, as far as we see it in the daylight in front of the sun. And we also will have that. I'll show you real quick on the idea that we had the what question mark video from Soho that it showed you in the A head, H1. A head, H1. I think I queued it up right now. Yeah, there it went. So, it'd be interesting what you can do with. Uh, back and forth in the video that I just gave you there you know you can do once I give you the overlay of them fast forwarding through it and so forth then you can probably matter of fact I think I just seen the dark object and it's just about every time they go out to play is pretty much when that darker object comes across and I think you if you go back and play with it I think you'll see the shadow of it coming across even though we had the cloud cover I think you'll see it come across the over top of the station so here comes up the brown dwarf in front of the more than likely, so I, I say Rigel Cantaris B, and you can see that in front of it, the bell that we end up seeing down there. So you can play with that back and forth. So there's some nice footage for you. We're putting it in fast play real fast. Now you probably think about right there, 
is where you might end up seeing and basically you can see spots on the on the window up there on the observatory coming across so it's not like there's an airplane coming flying over about then so keep an eye right there on the mir mirrored window that they have on the observatory deck there and uh, this plays pretty fast so the idea that maybe we can see it again here it's 10 20 we'll put some more on the end here I'll go to the local close by and see if we can see anything on there there she comes up in front again so basically you got three times the footage on this and watch that window again right about there and there yep there it is there she went you there is a shadow there you can see it so you watch through that and you'll be able to see it I wasn't watching the clock on that so, and you can always go to the Nehemiah station and watch the clock too, so. Anyway, good footage from down there again. Nehemiah station, and here she comes again, and watch for that in front of it. Because here she comes. There it is in front, yep. It's pretty much uh, x-rays and magnifies that brown dwarf, makes it look real big coming out in front of it. But it is hella big too, so, too, so. Right, we can't tear speed is 77% of the size of the sun, so the idea then that brown dwarf in front of Rigel Cantaris B is, you know, whatever percentage your eyeball can see there looking at it, it looks like it, it's got to be at least over a third of the size of uh, Rigel Cantaris B because it's coming in front and as I'm sitting here babbling, here it comes again. So the idea, if you keep an eye on it, you'll see that the idea, that, you know, it's got to be at least over a third, maybe half the size of Frigo Cantaris B, so that'll give you an idea of how big around that brown dwarf in front of the sun is, and then you should be able to see the shadow come over here again. It looks like they got a retractable window there, that maybe they get open, and as you can see, it shadowed and came over, so you can see it. I'm wondering if that window retracts, where they can open up and get a clear camera shot with no window glaze at all, with what's going on up there, or is it actually a shadow that we see coming up there? So keep an eye on that window. Because I don't know if it retracts or if the idea that that was the object being mirrored as it comes over. Okay, so some real good dramatic footage again. And I apologize because I forget about the yellow being around my pointer. So that here comes that shadow again. Now, does that window retract up and down? Or is it the idea that do we get... And it looks like it retracts up and down. So very interesting. And basically, it was both the the eyeballs in the East Coast, Tullahoma, and this object was two IU out. Okay, it might have been two point one IU or something like that, or it was at least two IU. So, and there's your object right there. And here, that it's right there. So that's blown up at two hundred percent. Say we're going to the movies and waiting for it to flicker and stuff. So, and as you can see, the brown dwarf or baby baby blue kachina, whatever somebody wants to call it, uh, there it be, getting resonated in the night sky. So it's in the sky, not on Earth. I mean, so the idea that it, it will resonate down on Earth somewhere. And this was in Tullahoma, so this is back east. So, and this is at 109.41 Zulu time. So the idea that that's it, that's all there is for the day, close object. So we don't get to see the two and three, at least it doesn't show us because there's no object going by, so we don't get a photo. So they take pictures, I'm sure, every hour or something like that. Or maybe it's just when they get the radar and get the image coming across too. But So the only thing we do is we see the uh, brown dwarf, baby blue, kachina, whatever you want to call it baby planet out in front of at least it's a mirrored image in front of that object there okay watch my what question mark just before this video and this is basically going through the Soho behind and the uh, a head and there's that object and you watch my last movie what question mark and you'll see it so legal disclaimer and this is zoomed up to a thousand don't ask me about the check mark, and basically there's a highway off on the pole. Let me give you the North Pole. Okay, now this morning it was zero tilt. It was like the, the ozone thing was centered, okay? Let's go look at the Antarctic picture and then reel now. Then I'll flash this. Look at the soldier.